Hey, good morning, guys. It's Rick here. Um, just want to do a quick campground review of Montgomery Bell State Park. It's a uh, state park here just to the west of uh, Nashville. Uh, we got here for the Veterans Day weekend, and um, I want to just kind of talk about it, show, show you a little bit about it, and, uh, and just kind of share our, our experiences. So uh, welcome to the, uh, to the channel, and glad you made it here, and hopefully this video will be helpful for you and provide you some good information. So let's go. Let's go check it out. So whenever I do these uh, campground reviews, I really try to uh, assess them based off of uh, like six criteria that I've kind of come up with. First off is cost. Uh, you know, how much does it cost to camp here, this campsite? Also, I look at the amenities, um, you know, types of hookups, um, uh, bathhouses, laundromat, hiking, outdoor activities, just access to things like that. I also look at uh, campsite access, you know, can it handle a big rig? Um, what type of hookups does it have that have pull through sites? Are the sites wide? And, uh, and those types of things. Just general cleanliness of the park. Um, how well is it maintained? You know, the um, um, uh, dump station, uh, the trash point, uh, just the campsite in general, is it well maintained and clean? Also, um, I also look at like privacy and noise. Um, you know, do you have enough space between your campsites? Is it private enough? Um, are there a lot of noisy campers and generators running and so forth? So very quiet here at Montgomery Bell State Park. Uh, and then the last criteria I look at, because I know this is important for a lot of people, as well it is for me, is uh, cell phone coverage. You know, what kind of coverage can I get uh, here, uh, you know, using Verizon or AT&T? So those are some of the criteria that I use, and I'll kind of talk about that uh, during this review. So hopefully it'll come in handy for you if you decide to ever stay here at uh, Montgomery Bell State Park. So yeah, Lisa and I, uh, we booked a uh, about three nights stay here at Montgomery Bell State Park over Veterans Day weekend. Uh, wanted to come get away and uh, spend some time out in nature and see some of the sites. So uh, been very pleased with this campground. Uh, talked a little bit about some of the amenities they have, some of the access uh, with the big rigs, um, you know, the, uh, the campground in general, you know, what's, what's there to do, what's there to see and uh, kind of share some of our thoughts with you on that. So as you can see behind me here, they've got uh, several bathhouses here in the campgrounds, all well maintained, clean, um, easy access, and uh, uh, real close to your campsites. So another nice feature they have here at the uh, state park is a laundromat. Um, you know, it's not real elaborate or anything, but it does get the job done. Uh, got a few washers and dryers, so if you need to do get some laundry, uh, you can actually get that done here. Well, if you have your kids with you, they've got a nice playground area here where they got, as you can see behind me, they've got the uh, sled, kind of a jungle gym set up. Also have some uh, swings along the back over there. And then uh, here in front of me, and I'll show you this in a second, they got a big open area. You can bring your dogs out here, walk your dogs in the morning. Uh, again, a lot of great amenities here at uh, Montgomery Bell State Park. If you like nature, uh, you know, plenty of hiking trails, a lot to see, creeks running through here, um, mountain bike trails, uh, just a beautiful state park. So, so uh, Montgomery Bell State Park has both uh, primitive tent camping sites as well as um, partial hookup RV sites and full hookup RV sites. So there's a selection of just about everything that you need for uh, your camping uh, requirements. So this part of the campground is for the uh, full hookups, uh, electric, um, water and sewer. So they've got 50 amp, 30 amp, 20 amp uh, connections. Uh, we weren't able to get into one of these sites. Um, they were all booked up. Uh, so we got the partial hookups. So I got the 30 amp and uh, water hookups. Uh, but they do have a dump station here, so uh, I think it's going to meet all of our needs. We're only here for the weekend, so. Uh, uh, but if you can get on, if you can get one of these full hookup sites, they're really great. I'll show you a few of those. So this is one of the full hookup sites. Uh, as you can see, really large 
pad, you could easily get a fifth, fifth wheel in here or a larger uh, uh, tow behind. Got a fire pit, picnic table, again, uh, full hookups with uh, 30 amp, 50 amp, and um, 20 amp, as well as sewer hookups. As you can see, this side here even backs up next to the creek, uh, and you've got some great views along this back uh, edge of the campsite. Creek running right behind your campsite, beautiful trees, fall foliage in the full bloom, and uh, you know, relatively well distanced uh, from the other campsites as well. So again, if you can get one of these sites, it's a great option for you. One of the uh, tent camping sites, um, as you can see, got you a fire pit, picnic table, nice flat area so you can set up your tents. Uh, again, great location for uh, whatever type of camping you want to get into. So as you can see, the roads in the state park are uh, of decent quality. Now they're wide enough to get a fifth wheel big rig in here, as well as wide enough for you to be able to back into your sites without too much trouble. Not too far from the bathhouse, they actually have uh, you know, a nice uh, clean trash point here behind me, so it's uh, easily accessible. You can drop off your trash and uh, well maintained. Nice clean uh, dump station, easy access. Uh, be able to pull your rig in here, dump on your way out. So privacy was about on average from what we've experienced at other state parks. Uh, we were here on a holiday weekend uh, but I would say that the noise and the privacy levels for our campsite were uh, acceptable, so no complaints there. So uh, let me talk a little bit about the uh, ever-important uh, cell phone coverage. So uh, we both have uh, uh, Verizon and AT&T, and our Verizon, uh, we're able to pick up about two bars, um, able to stream videos, uh, you know, check social media, emails, and those things. AT&T seems to be a little bit better out here at Montgomery Bell State Park, able to get a little bit better uh, streaming, able to tie in our Apple TV and, and watch movies and so forth. But uh, I think either one of them will work fine, so I've been pretty pleased. One gets two bars, the Verizon, AT&T gets about three bars, so it looks pretty good. So in summary, Montgomery Bell State Park is a great and affordable campground located in central Tennessee. It is open year-round and we really enjoyed our visit. The autumn foliage and the cool temperatures made for a great weekend of fall camping. The campsites and facilities were very clean and well maintained and the park has miles of trails to explore. If you found this campground review helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and again, Thank you for watching and happy camping and we'll see you down the road.